Are you struggling to understand how users interact with your website or app? What if there was a way to see exactly what your visitors are doing, whether they are getting stuck and how they are navigating your platform? Welcome to SmartLook, the ultimate tool for session recording, heat maps and analytics. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I will walk you through how to use SmartLook to track user behavior, analyze interaction and optimize your digital experience. By the end of this video, you will know how to set up SmartLook record user session, analyze heat maps, and generate actionable insight to improve your website or app. Let's dive in. So before we get started, I want to break down what makes SmartLook stand out. So according to them, SmartLook is a powerful analytics tool designed to help businesses, blah, blah. I've already explained this, but there are some of the offers which I really like, and I want to show you. So there's a session recording, which you can see here. Obviously, we'll look into this. You can watch real user interaction on your website. And you can find it where there's a dead space, where's a dead click and, you know, add to cart section. And there's a lot of stuff we will talk about later. Now, there's a heat map, so you can just get to know that. Where is the visualize? You can click, scroll, and tap to identify area of interest or friction. There's an event tracking, there's a funnel analysis, right? You can analyze drop of points, right? In a multi-step process like checkouts or signups. And some things which I really like, that is a cloud-based and accessible from any device. And, you know, seamless integration with tools like Google Analytics, Slack, and Zapier. So affordable pricing plan tailors for small businesses and enterprise, which I really like to get on. So let's get on the pricing section because ultimately this is going to, you know, come a lot. So here you can see there's a free plan. This is a pro plan and this is an enterprise plan here. So as you can see here, uh, free, obviously we are going to try out the free and there's a pro plan that is a $55 per month. And there's a much more features. You can see here, you can check out 5,000 monthly session. So it's, um, you know, the only better way where you can just go for a much larger plan that is a pro plan or enterprise depends on right whether you have that much of customer base or you know you have that much of this traffic on your website and you want to improve more right so with, without wasting any time i just want to check out the free plan and where i can explain you each and every part so let's get started now click on the free plan and here you can sign i will go with the google you can use the email address here now here you have to fill up all this detail for example your name your role, so UI and design, your company, so I'm just putting a random company name here, organization that is 7 to 10 employees, city, right? So here you can just write here, whatever it is, and the street, zip code and click on I accept and click on start using smart look. Now here, once you have created your account, it will ask you to select project type. Whether it's a website, whether it's a mobile or whether it's a cross platform. So cross platform that, for example, if you want to collect data from both website and mobile application, right? So for example, let's say I want to choose a cross platform and click on continue. Now here you have to name your project name. So let's say I have named it hybrid project hash one, right? And this is an install tracking code for website. So obviously you have to install it. Now this is a code. This is a script where you have to copy the script and paste it in the website header in the head, right? I will show you how you can do this, by the way. And as you can see here, uh, by the way, if your website is made on Shopify, Wix, Webflow, or there's so many options, Blogger, WordPress, and everything. So you can, there's an integration, right? So you don't need to copy it. For example, let's say I have a website on Wix. I will just go and click on Wix here, right? And it will show me how I can do this. So I have to copy your tracking code, which you can see here. This is a installation tracking code for mobile app, right? And uh, let's talk about mobile app later. First of all, let's fix the application, I mean, for the website here. So once I go here, it will ask me to go to the site, then just go to the site manager. And here, this is how it will look. Now you have to copy the code, right? And uh, click on here, then just go to the head section and click on apply, right? So you have to paste the code and just go and click on apply. This is how you can do so. Now, these are some other ways too. For example, if you have a Shopify, right, then here you have to just go to the online store, go to the theme section, right? And once you go to the theme section, let me show you, then just go to the action and click on edit code. So this is my Shopify store and let me show you how you can do this. 
you have to just go and click on online store automatically you will be in the theme section now once you are in the theme section here say is that you have to go to this action right so as you can see here there's a no any option to act action so i will just go and click on three dots right and here you will get this option of edit code option now click on edit code this is what it says here now we'll just go back to my smart look now i will just copy this copy the script to clipboard now we'll just go here now it says that i have go to the website header in the head section so i have to find the head section here so as you can see here this is a theme start liquid here it says that paste your code into the layout into the theme start liquid right so i will just go to the theme start liquid and here we have our in the head section now you can see here right before the closing head so as you can see here this is a head and we have to find the closing head so usually it is in the bottom let's go to the bottom here and somewhere if uh, if you are not able to find it press ctrl plus f on your keyboard and find it slash head right and find it so as you can see here this is the end so here we have to paste it so what you have to do you have to just go and go and click on here right let me zoom up press the enter and just go to the 299 tab and paste it here now once you have added automatically it will be added right now this is how it's look now just go and click on save now it got saved here and it will start working right so this is how you can do this and it's real easy now regarding this mobile application you have to choose right for example whether it's an android application it is in the play store or it, or it is in the app store and this is some of these you know engines where you have made your application and if you have made anywhere on this engines you can do the same thing what i've shown you here by the way in the website it supports almost everything here right uh, from google firebase to you know slack salesforce and there's a lot of option which you can do right so it's become really easy now once you have added right automatically this is now done now let's get back here so here it says after you have implemented the tracking code visit your website to test this implementation now here it says you can see here once we detect that the tracking code is implemented correctly you will be redirected to the smart loop if you have any questions automatically once you've added this is how it's look now for example if i just want to view my store i will able to view my store and it's perfectly fine here now once you have integrated your application or your website or both this is how it's look this is the dashboard now here you can see exactly so it will show you the exact active session there's a heat maps right there's a events there's a funnel and everything here which will show up here right now if i just go to the session it will show me on for example this is one of the user who came up obviously it's not going to reveal me the name or everything but yeah it will show me from which country it visited and how it will show me the exact recording so I can play this up. So for example, this is a recording and you can see here, this is how it looks. So if I just want to play this up, you can see here, this is the exact recording, the user came and how they or he or she interacted with the website, right? So as you can see here, it is scrolling. And once you go and see here in these, there's a blue dot represent click. So whenever a user clicked, it shows a blue color and the green color is basically a URL, right? And this is orange it means a text right whenever a user have entered something so you can see here you know clicked on the screen because it means that there was a url here and the blue dot represent click so you can see here it's sorted by the click so in this way you can exactly know that how your customer interacted and it will show you exactly i mean the ai the you know smart look analyze the complete in a really good way so as you can see here let me show you another one right and let's go back from here as you can see here there's a lot of user how they interacted for example i can just go and check on this user right it showed me the exactly the same thing right as you can see here there was some kind of a, it's added to the there was some kind of error that's what it's showing me here right and once the customer added 11 products of a same item the quantity you can see here it added to a card and the view card and it's showing me now as you can see here i think this is some kind of error right it's not moving forward right so as you can see here this was the issue so you can exactly know that how i mean why the customer was not able to purchase the product and what was the exact issue right
and this is really interesting now let's go to the uh, by the way in the session you can see there's a new tabs here that is active session it will so it will show us the real-time active users who are interacting on your website right right now it's zero that's why it's showing me the zero this is a session wallet so you can just you know shift some of this complete session to the session wallet where you can just you know just for the training purpose or just to show you as you can just preserve it here now this is a heat map so heat map is really cool thing right so as you can see here it will show me exactly how many user just went to the cart section right and even though i if i just go and click on here it will took me to the website and as you can see here this is the shopping cart look like right and this is a category this is a checkout home page and there's a lot of things you can create a new heat map and it will show you exactly how many views you got right and these are the recommended urls for heat maps so smart look automatically just you know analyze your website and show me and it's not 100 percent accurate but yeah it's it's a really good thing now this is an event section now by the way uh, you know heat maps provide a visual representation of user interaction right you can view click maps uh, you can see where users are clicking most frequently to identify popular buttons so in my case it is mainly on the checkout which is 50 right then it's track the moment use move maps to see where user hover the cursor indicating areas of focus or hesitation right and as you can see here this is the heat map the red dot shows that the, there was a lot of click on it right and this yellow it means there was there was a lot of click but, but it was less than the red one and this is a blue one it means there was a click but it was not a really good one right so these are the dead clicks obviously these are the dead clicks right now this is really cool this tools help you to optimize layouts improve navigations and reduce friction point now you know let's talk about the events so tracking events and funnels now what i mean by this so are very critical for understanding user journey so you can set up events tracking you can define key actions like button clicks form submissions or downloads to monitor user behavior which you can see here so for example this is an error tab so you can see here there were around two errors but if I just go to the cards, so cards looks really good, right? Now here I can build funnels to track multi-step process like signups, checkout, onboarding flows, and here this exactly data show me that uh, you know analyze where user abandon the process to pinpoint areas for the improvement, and it will show me the exactly uh, you know what happened there, and even there's a video which I can play it out, right? So this is a session in which the event occurred. So if I just want to play it out, you can see here, no session, match my filter because it was not recorded somehow. Now this is a funnels which I already told you how you can do this. Right now, what's the next thing? That is a behavior flow. So as you can see here, this is the exact behavior, how user come to your website and majority of user where they end up. Are they, you know, end up in buying a product or, you know, added your products to the cart or something else? Or was there any dead clicks or something like that so you can view exactly the link right and you can just play the session right and you can just go and check out by yourself right so i think and there you have it a complete step-by-step -step guide using how you can use smart look to track user behavior analyze interaction and optimize your website or app but there you're recording session analyzing heat maps or tracking conversion smart look has the tools to help you succeed this is it guys, I hope you found this video very useful. If you did, make sure to like this video, subscribe.